about it. Bentley and I are about to go on our routine walk. As you can see, his energy, appetite, and all of that are completely normal. He's just extremely itchy still. I do flea checks every time we get back, but the baby still needs his exercise, doesn't he? This has been probably one of my favorite parts of the day, aside from waking up and making the morning cup of coffee here, or sunset yoga outside with dinner. I mean, there's just a lot of things that I feel like are making me happy here, but these walks with Benny in the sun, watching the leaves change, we've passed by a couple trees now. Just in the last two weeks, I can literally see the leaves Keeps changing, melts my soul. So I'm gonna put on some Casey Muskrats and we're gonna go for a little walk. Yeah. guys what's up so it's actually Thursday Thursday September I want to say 17th and it's about 7 30 or 7 20 in the morning actually fun fact this is the time I was born oh my god that Sun pardon that is happening in real time right now that is the Sun rising up Wow so I don't have very much room left on this memory card, so I really need to hurry up with what I'm with my intro today. I didn't really vlog a whole lot of the last few days. I got Bentley here on my lap. We're gonna run into town and grab a coffee because I don't have groceries, man. I don't have laundry done. I thought this week was gonna be. You guys saw if you saw last week's vlog, it was all about like literally how to prep and plan for a fresh start to the week, and then this week just went to shit. My isolation is officially up though, which is so helpful because that means I can just literally run and go get groceries now. I don't have to order and do pickup. Yesterday, just the last few days, Bentley, I had to rush Bentley back into the vet because he had gotten a hot spot, but also the area around the hot spot, which was really close to his front armpit, was swelling. It scared the living bejeebies out of me, so I really didn't vlog at all yesterday. Um, he's fine today, as you can see, but he's on an antibiotic now and a different medication for itching. He did a swab test of the little spot that Bentley, it looked like he had licked it open pretty bad. She found a lot of white blood cells and that could just mean that it was an infection and that's why he's on antibiotics. So we're gonna clear up the infection. The hot spot is almost healed. In just over 12 hours, oh my God, the trees, oh wow. Leaves are changing so quickly this year. So I'll flip my camera around so you guys can see. The drive though is so, like into Moncton, it's so peaceful. It's only like 20 minutes. I don't have any groceries and I don't have anything, any laundry, barely any clothes left. It's just, I feel like my life is in shambles today. But Utober's going great. <laughs> This week I've been listening to my spooky season playlist, so I'm gonna put that on and just enjoy the drive to our caffeinated destination. Also, we need to take like a tree count because just across the way, these trees have already also started to change so much. So we'll just take this pan now and then at the end of the month, we should see how much they've all changed. Every day when I sit in the hammock and read, I'm always just like in awe of how many more red trees there are, especially because when I first got to this Airbnb, that whole strip was green. Now we have a reference. We can use that as our reference to see how much they change in the next two weeks. Bruises and broken heart Numbed all the pain Show me how to heal And now I don't feel Broken anymore So it 
is now Friday and let me tell you, it's getting so cold so quickly. I think it's also just because I'm in a tiny home and there's only just like little mini heaters. I love it, but I also am like, I have mixed feelings because I'm a little chilly sometimes, but it also makes drinking coffee and taking hot showers that much more enjoyable. So now that my isolation is up and over, Larissa and I are gonna go do a little bit of shopping today. But before we do, I wanted to let you in on just a current love slash obsession of mine. Now, first and foremost, huge thank you to Vessi for partnering with me for today's video. And it's actually their shoes that I wanna show you. So I'll show you their weekend shoe first. This is the weekend shoe. It's like a newer style that they now have. This is more so for just your day-to-day -day chilling and walking around. I'll likely wear these to the mall, but the ones that I've been wearing every single day are their classics. Now these are amazing. They're also 100% vegan, 100% cruelty-free and 100% sandproof, waterproof, slush-proof in the winter time and slip proof, okay? And it's like inside they actually wrote cloud comfort all day in the little, you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but I've been wearing these every day to walk Bentley on our little walking routine, which is actually what I'm about to do right now. The best thing about, I mean, either style, really easy to dress up or dress down. So realistically, I could keep this outfit on. Um, or if, like I said, you're wearing more athleisure, these work as well, but you could also style these up too because they're so slick and like stylish. Plus, because they partnered with me for today's video, I'm able to get you guys a $25 off code and they already do free shipping to Canada, the United States, New Zealand, Australia, amongst so many other places. So my $25 off code is just my name, Kaylin, K-A-L-Y-N. It's always really weird saying your own name out loud. You never think about it, but like you rarely ever reference yourself. But yeah, that's the coupon code if you guys want to get $25 off. They have like a super nice beige color for fall and I feel like those will also just look so good. And I love that they're winter and summer versatile. I mean, they're waterproof, but they're also really good at keeping your feet warm in the wintertime and cool in the summertime because they're so breathable. I don't understand like... The mechanics that must have gone into making these shoes are insane. And then the fact that they're like cruelty free and vegan, it's just an all around win. I actually think I'm gonna put on my weekend shoe because I've been wearing these ones so much. I kinda wanna give these ones a go. These ones just arrived. So I'm gonna pop these on with this outfit. And Bentley and I are gonna go on a little stroll. Wrapped in my bed sheets, don't wanna wash it away. I know sometimes too caught up in all of the wrong things But you're always there to guide me I yeah. used to be afraid to fall in love A past relationship was a disaster But now I don't care Is this thing on? All right, so it is officially Saturday. I met up with Larissa yesterday. We actually just did a little mini shopping trip. I'll show you guys a mini haul before the end of this vlog. I'll probably put it towards the end. I'm just waiting for Larissa to get here and then we're gonna go apple picking. And at the same time, I get to meet Erica. Erica's actually a subscriber. She was one of the co's members of the month and she actually lives out here in Moncton. So, and we're actually gonna go to her, I believe it's her grandpa's apple orchard and go apple picking there and meet Erica. So I'm so excited. So is Larissa, we're just pumped. A little Bentley update. He is feeling much, much better, let me tell you. Aren't you, boy? Him and I went on a nice long stroll this morning. All of the leaves are changing. It's just, it feels like a nice fall weekend, and I'm so excited. I feel like both Larissa and I need this. He's also about halfway through his meds now, so I feel like his skin, his fur, his everything, you can just tell he feels more like himself, so that's making me feel so much better, too. All around, just great vibes. Great vibes going on today. So I'm gonna head into town and grab Erica some flowers. Uh, I believe Larissa's on her way here with coffee and then let's go apple picking cause you took my scars bruises and broken heart and numbed all the pain show me how to heal and now I don't feel broken
chilly today and this is hot in my hands but I'm gonna try and hold it up quickly I made myself a chai tea um, vibe okay so like I promised before ending today's vlog I'm gonna share with you guys the few things that I picked up at the mall if you've been watching my videos this year in particular I've talked in a few different videos about how I'm just trying to become a bit more of a conscious consumer I'm honestly really embracing the whole minimalist living even living here for this month there's no stove here there's not even a full fridge here I'm using like mini everything I am quite proud that I didn't buy more than I did <laughs> because I feel like I used to go like Larissa and I were talking about this, but way back in Toronto, like we used to go on shopping trips and just like, just buy so many things. Like we still got the same enjoyment out of going out shopping, but just the difference of not buying a bunch of stuff I don't technically need and actually buying things that I'm really excited about. I don't know why I'm rambling. Let me just show you what I got. This, okay, we went to Sephora and I purchased these solely because Larissa got me hooked. Um, but this is the Soul Brazilian bum bum cream. It's actually vegan and cruelty free, which is an amazing like just uh, I, I feel like I, I can't even just when I find something that I love and then I do that like soul crushing moment of Googling whether or not it's cruelty free and vegan and then finding out that it is that feeling is one of my favorite feelings in the world. And this is probably my favorite like in terms of body butter and sprays, like favorite post shower scent. Putting it on after taking hot showers, I feel like it's just elevated my entire like body experience, like literally what it's like to experience being in my body because Oh my God, when my body smells like this, I want to do things to me. So I bought the big tub because it's kind of expensive, but honestly, the <laughs> experience I'm getting from it is worth it in my eyes. And then I also bought the body spray for post showers and for just morning when I want to just spritz it on before starting my day when I'm getting ready. So, but yeah, just so happy with these purchases. Okay, and then I only have two more things to show you. Go me. I plan on doing a full video on just clothes after gaining weight. Just all of that actually. I, I have a bunch of Fitness Fridays set aside, themed out already, brainstormed if you will, about everything from just regaining weight to trying to buy new clothes again to bad body image days all of just everything that you pretty much experience we all experience on a day-to-day -day basis but jeans when i started gaining my weight back jeans gave me a lot of anxiety i pretty much got rid of almost all of my jeans because none of them fit me anymore and it's something that i feel like consciously i know that that's a good thing it's just if you've ever gone through anything that has to do with gaining weight when you deal with self-esteem issues or if you've had any kind of history of just struggling with body image then you'll know what I mean when I say that like it's just it's just pure anxiety anyway longest story ever I purchased a new pair of jeans and I'm really obsessed I'm not gonna lie this is not the pair I actually originally wanted they didn't have my size in the ones that I did but these ones were really close to the ones that I wanted were I think they're the Levi dad jeans which I've never heard of dad jeans before but they were so cute but I ended up getting the Levi balloon jeans in case you guys are curious I love them I love how they fit they're like baggy I love that bag Baggy jeans are a thing right now. Let me just show you. Can you see? <laughs> you see what I mean? Look at how baggy these are. Like I could wear these inside. I mean, I wouldn't. 
and I'm not gonna. Um, I'll only wear them when I'm actually venturing into the presence of other humans, but I could if I really felt like it. I just love that they're baggy and they were on sale. These were cheaper than the dad jeans that I wanted. And then I actually found this top too. So Larissa and I are actually going on a little New Brunswick trip this weekend to celebrate her finishing her treatments, which like, fuck, what is 2020, but also Queen, she literally just finished her fucking chemo treatment. Excuse my language, sorry, but it's just like, she, she did that, like she literally did that. And uh, yeah, I picked up this top. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. It was at this little store called Envy at the Moncton Mall. And it's just like a, a halter top, but, but it's sparkly. I wasn't gonna buy it. It was a little bit more expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but this is one of those pieces that I just feel like is one of those staple pieces or statement pieces that I know I'm gonna have in my closet. I mean, I'm putting it on over a Def Leppard t-shirt, but you guys can see it in next week's vlog. But it's like completely open back. And then it's like, you know, <laughs> um, it's a little low cut, but it's like, it's a little spicy, but it's like golden spicy, you know? Like a little bit of almost 2000 spicy. Again, not over the Def Leppard t-shirt, but you guys get what I mean. So I'll likely wear this when we go celebrate this weekend, which again, holy shit. I don't know, it's, it's interesting like putting my life online because there's people in my life. I never want to breach anybody's like privacy because I don't, I don't know, the, the, we, the world we live in is so odd when you think about it. Like the fact that we all post about our lives so openly online. So I haven't really been talking much on my channel or on my social platforms about Larissa going through her cancer journey because it's her journey, it's her story. I also just value her privacy, I value our friendship. But many of you guys already know Larissa and if you don't then I highly recommend going and checking out her Instagram. I'll leave her account down below but she's officially done chemo. As of today she actually rang the bell. She has literally just been fighting and doing the, the most. Like I've literally never seen anything like it before in my life. But she's officially done chemo, which is just actually insane. Like it's insane. I, I still, 2020 I feel like still, ha like it hit me, but it hasn't even fully hit me yet. And just the fact that I'm even saying the words that Larissa is finished chemo, like 2018, 2019, me slash us is like, pardon. It's been a year. <laughs> it's been a year. and. I'm just so happy fall is here. I'm happy to be out here in New Brunswick. I'm happy to be able to be spending time with Larissa. I'm, I'm honestly really just taking as much stock as so much of the just simple pleasures in life because they are the big things. Like it's the small things that we don't realize are actually the big things. It's never about, you know, the balloon jeans that we can purchase or the luxury trips that we go on. Like it's this, it's this shit. It's this day to day living, just making memories meeting amazing people like I didn't get to vlog very much of Erica because honestly we were all just hanging out and chatting but that was another soul that I met this week that I just am just in awe from there's just so much goodness out there and I know that this year has been really hard and tough and there's been a lot of really like hard things and I don't know how this outro just turned into a life chat that we're having now but I've been inspired by the souls that I've been around and have the pleasure of spending time with on this earth and yeah i don't really know how to tie this up aside from even just the whole like not not overspending on things anymore it's just i feel like i've really detoxed my life or life has really detoxed me i guess you might say i'm here for it it's hard life is hard in different ways for everyone but i'm here for this detox and i'm here for this autumn equinox and i did not mean for that to rhyme but i'm glad that it did because i'm gonna leave us there so I'm gonna finish my chai tea and start editing today's vlog and talk to all of you guys in the next video. The next video is going to be the first video before Utober starts, so on the 30th. It's almost like a 32 video series this year, guys, because of um, the vlog going up next Wednesday. So that's gonna kick off Utober a day early, which is a fun little fact. And there might even be a little few surprises between now and then. So if so, I'll see you guys there. But technically, I will talk to all of you guys in next week's vlog. Bye, guys.